Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the top programming languages for 2022. If you are someone who is learning to code or is thinking about it, you want to ensure you are learning a programming language that is in demand and essentially will land you a job. Today we are going to be covering just that, but before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these amazing subscribers here. Thank you, I see you. I love you, you all are amazing. Okay, let's get started. For almost any subject, no matter what you are studying or focusing on, whether it be web development, whether it be machine learning, um, whether it be data science or really anything else, having a strong fundamental understanding of different programming languages and being able to pick them up quickly is so important. These programming languages are ranked based on the job popularity, uh, when you see job postings, which ones are more in demand than others, and then also too from other experts in the industry. Coming in at number one, this may be a bit controversial, it's a love or hate language I would have to say is JavaScript. JavaScript has been coming in for a very popular programming language for a while now and the reality is in 2022, it's not going anywhere. This is a programming language that many people either love or hate and the reason being is because it can be kind of wishy-washy, I guess you could say. Sometimes it has rules, sometimes it doesn't. And it's one of those languages though that it is so in demand. So rather than trying to kind of fight the, the not wanting to learn it, I really highly suggest you dive into learning JavaScript. JavaScript is used by tons of well-known IT companies such as Uber, Google, uh, Microsoft, and although the language is best known for its ability to add responsive elements to page or to pages, it does so much more than that now. This is a language that can be used for both the front end and also back inside of things, which also is really enticing to a lot of companies. Oftentimes, if you are someone who is going to dive into the world of JavaScript, you also will need to pick up a framework, whether it be Vue, Angular, React, and so many others. I would say the three that I just listed are definitely the top three at the moment, uh, but make sure you really have a strong understanding of vanilla JavaScript before you start diving into a framework or library. Coming in at number two, and I'm sure some of you thought this would be number one, maybe they're tied, is Python. Python is definitely the preferred or the language for beginners, I would say, because it's a very friendly language, it's easy to quickly pick up, it's readable, and it makes the introduction to programming kind of less intimidating. Python is also very popular because it is used for data science, machine learning, and backend web services. It is a great programming language, especially if you are, as I mentioned, it's your first programming language to learn. It offers a lot of, uh, what's the word? There's a ton of different tutorials online, documentation. So if you are diving into the world of programming, you will have so much support documented online for learning Python. Coming in at number three is Java. A lot of you have, once again, actually I'm not even gonna say this because I feel like this could be for every language, a love-hate relationship. It's just the way programming goes. We have love relationships, we have hate relationships with programming languages. Java is used to create Android apps, web, desktop, and scientific applications. Java is widely used throughout many different companies and I mean, it's one of those languages that has been around for a while and has no signs of slowing down or not being used. You can have a very safe bet if you are someone who is learning Java that you will, your skills will be in demand, you will get a job with no problem. And even if you end up not using Java, having that strong understanding of Java, I think is really important. Coming in at number four is our language. When I did the top programming languages for 2021 and I didn't include R, I got some comments just being like, Tiff, how did you not include this? And at the time, out of the list, the number of uh, languages I was listing, it wasn't on there. However, I'm happy to say this year, our language, you are here. Many big tech companies such as Facebook, Google, Uber, use our language to run their businesses with Focus on machine learning and data science. It's definitely worth learning our programming language. That being said, I wanna highlight a lot of times people ask me, should I learn R or Python? And there's no perfect answer because it really depends on your reason for learning, what kind of job you want. But at the end of the day, I wanna highlight Python is definitely more beginner friendly. So if you are once again a beginner, I would suggest uh, picking up Python first. 
Coming in at number five, and just by the way, these aren't actually number one to five as far as ranking from number one to five. I think they're all equal as far as popularity goes, depending on the month, the specific day, you know, it always changes. But just to highlight that I'm not doing based on JavaScript is the number one and going downwards. No, they're all really in demand. So coming at number five is C and C++. C is a general purpose procedural language that is used for creating low level systems such as operating systems. And I really wanna highlight here, many other programming languages borrow different characteristics actually from C. C++ is a programming language that emphasizes objects and was originally developed to extend C. And it is used in a variety of different industries, whether it be desktop applications, whether it be game applications and beyond. Okay, coming in at number six is Kotlin. This is a language that I have not learned yet, but I really want to because I hear amazing things about it from some people, some of my programming friends, and um, yeah, I haven't de dove into it yet, but I really want to. Uh, so Kotlin is a general purpose uh, programming language that supports both functional and object-oriented programming. Kotlin is, from what my friends say anyways, who have learned it, a very user-friendly, or sorry, not user-friendly, but easy to pick up language. Um, very good for if you are kind of more on the beginner side of things as well, check out Kotlin. Companies such as Netflix and Uber are always looking for Kotlin developers, so it's a really in-demand language to learn. And the last one on the list that I wanna to cover today is PHP. I know some of you are going to be going, oh, Tiff, why PHP? Why are you even bringing up PHP? I was a PHP developer for my first job, so, and I actually don't mind PHP, but it's one of those things where I can truly say people have a love or a hate relationship with PHP. That being said though, it's not going anywhere. PHP, what is the statistic? It builds how much of websites online? Let me check, I'm actually gonna Google this. How many websites use PHP? Okay, according to W3 text data, PHP is used by 78.9% of all websites. So it's very in demand as you can see. And it's one of those languages that if you take a really good tutorial or take a really good course on it and start playing around with it, most of the time you're not going to end up hating it. Um, I think it just has gotten a bad rap from over the years, but it definitely is a very in demand language that will help you land your first job. Also with PHP, because it's been around for a while, it has a huge user community online. That was one of my favorite things about it when I was learning, is that there are so many people online to help you learn it, so many different tutorials and documentation that it's really one of those languages, if you are first learning, if you are learning a programming language for the first time, it's actually a really good one to learn because of all the online support you will receive. Okay, those are the top programming languages coming in for 2022. The fact that 2022 is only less than two months away is kind of mind blowing to me. I hope you found this very valuable and insightful if you are looking to pick up a new programming language or maybe looking to pick up your first programming language. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and also leave in the comments other videos you would like to see. That is how I make these videos is based on your comments and questions. Thanks everyone, I'll see you soon.